Uh, I just have this machine that I wanted to document before I make big changes to it. Uh, it um, it doesn't really do what I intended it to do, but it was good, good experiment and a good learning experience, anyways. And this is the thing that drives me is is just to learn by building and doing and refining my processes and everything as I go, and uh, especially within a community too of other experimenters. Anyway, so what I call this is a, is a power multiplier, a mechanical power multiplier. So it uses centrifugal force to, uh, to do the work on the output. And this is the output here, this old bicycle wheel, which is uh, linked to this drill motor, DC drill motor. And so as this this arm here, as it alternates or oscillates, pulls the chain, drives the, the wheel, and I thought this would make a good flywheel, but there seems to be a lot of friction in there and it's not working so well. It's from an old bike. So, so I have this hooked up to an ammeter here. This is showing uh, amps up to five. So as I spin it, I get about get about one amp to two amps coming out of here, but it's very low voltage too, so it has to spin at a very high RPM. Um, so on this side here, there's this another again another old uh, drill motor, just hooked directly up to the sprocket, which drives. These two bicycle wheels might be a little hard to see with all the clutter in the background and stuff. But so these wheels spin around, and here's there's weights on each wheel. These are just steel plates, and the idea is to keep these weights uh, to keep the wheels uh, to keep the weights 180 degrees out of phase with respect to each other, so that if you understand the direction of centrifugal force um, as something spins around. Uh, a turning center it's always pointing that way towards the mass so in this case here we'd have the forces as you can see wanting to create a torque around here and then the torque drives the back wheel so I'll just power it up quickly and you can just see quickly here how this thing kind of works Quite a bit of kick there and uh, here's how much current is going through the motor roughly 0.8 amps when it first gets going it's a little higher like maybe two amps and then drops down to about one amp One of the difficulties I had is getting these two wheels to synchronize or to stay uh, stay 180 degrees out of phase. So I tried using a rubber belt, a little piece of rubber that goes around the rim of the bicycle wheel to stretch all the way around to try to hold them in sync, but I found that they still slipped a little bit with that. So I'll have to come up with something else. So my conclusion with these sorts of machines is it's best to if you want to use the machine to do mechanical work like create heat or pump water or compress air then it's best to keep it purely mechanical like a mechanical input uh, like such as pedals or a crank uh, like a human cranking it or people somebody cranking it or somebody pedaling something or water falling on a wheel or something so mechanical to mechanical and I find that trying to convert to electrical like through a generator and then use that electricity that comes out of the generator to do something useful uh, there's a lot of losses in that so it's best to keep it if you want to do something electrical on the output then have an electrical input and if you want to do something mechanical on the output um, have a
a mechanical input and a mechanical system so there's no conversion losses between mechanical